This is Tom Blair with Inside Colorado Wrestling doing another episode of Boundary to Boundary Colorado High School Wrestling. Today's guest is Brian Killian, head coach of Fossil Ridge High School up in Fort Collins. How's it going, Brian? Good, good. How are you, Tom? Uh, being the first day of uh, the season, um, how's your numbers? Uh, good, good. You know, we have, uh, we're probably up in the 30s uh, in a great freshman group right now. About 15 freshmen now. Okay. Um, give us a little background on your wrestling career and your coaching career. Well, uh, so I wrestled mainly, uh, my wrestling was in Arizona. I uh, wrestled uh, for the junior Sun Kiss kids in Arizona, plus high school there, except for my, the last part of my senior year, I transferred to Nebraska, um, was the Nebraska state champion and uh, ended up getting a scholarship to wrestle at Shadron State College in Nebraska. Um, there, I actually, when I was in Arizona, was able to go on the Germany tour um, over in Germany, uh, which was great, which was with the Sun Kiss Kid um, right. program. So, uh, uh, and then I've been coaching for over, from each level probably for the past 26 years. And uh, I opened Fossil Ridge High School as my as a first head wrestling coach here, and it was my first uh, high school head job. And was here for the first 11 years of Fossil Ridge, and then resigned and was an assistant coach for uh, Poudre High School under uh, Barrett Goyer um, for two years, and and then uh, they hired me back here. This is my second year here, hired okay. back. Okay. Um... Have you seen a, a bit of changes after being the head coach for a while and then uh, leaving the school and then coming back? Yeah, I mean, it was easy to come back uh, just because I've always felt, you know, Hoss uh, uh, Fossil Ridge has been my my program, kind of my house, you know, where I opened the school. So right. it was easy to come back. But, you know, uh, changes is uh, about every year. You know, kids are a little different to uh, coach. But, uh, you know, as far as the school – and the administration, no, it was pretty easy to transition back. Okay. Um, seeing we're already into the high school season being the first day, uh, what you guys, what did you do for preseason, or did you do any preseason wrestling or schedule? Uh, yeah, you know, we had uh, obviously uh, voluntary drop-ins, uh, you know, two, three days a week uh, for kids that weren't in another sport. You know, I encourage kids to be in other sports, football, you know, soccer. And uh, so the kids that weren't, uh, instead of just laying around on the couch, we did about uh, three days a week um, drop-ins uh, was our preseason stuff. Okay. What do you have for, uh, or I should say, what was your results from last year's team? Um, so last year I had Cody Ginther place fourth as a sophomore last year, looking for great things from Cody this year. His goal is a state championship. Uh, we have two returning state qualifiers in Ben Parker, who's a senior this year, and Michael Boldick, who's a sophomore this year. Okay. Um, what do your returning team members look like? Uh, you know, we got a great senior class, uh, you know, that should uh, do very well this year. You know, we took uh, 10 to regionals last year and placed all 10. Uh, we had some heartbreakers um, not make it to state. Um, one of them that's going to be great this year is Kevin Meyer. Kevin Meyer is a senior uh, this year, didn't uh, qualify last year. Um, but, you know, he, he has the potential as a first-year qualifier and to be in that finals and be high up on the podium. And what weight class is he going? Uh, Meyer should be in that 38 or 45 pound weight class. Okay. What do you have for incoming freshmen and do you have any transfers? Uh, no transfers that I know of right now. Uh, you know, freshman group, again, like I mentioned early, we have 15 
16 freshmen out as of today um, reported with all their uh, stuff turned in and great freshman class we look that probably our first four weight classes could be varsity uh, freshman kids uh, where we have a lot of talent on the freshman level um, so like I said them first four weight classes could be varsity uh, freshman kids at the varsity um, having a larger number of freshmen coming in in uh, your other wrestlers uh, do you feel you're going to be filling up the uh, lineup this year? Oh, yeah. Yeah, for sure. I mean, here at Fossil Ridge, we've always had a problem with uh, our upper weights, our big kids. So, you know, we'll we'll miss uh, probably a weight as far as uh, up in the 220 to heavyweight, depending on where Ian Sampson goes, a senior. Uh, if he cuts down to 220, then, you know, we won't have a heavyweight. Uh, so, you know, it's always been a challenge here. I don't think I've ever had big kids here at Fossil Ridge. Um, but yeah, we'll be really deep in the lineup outside of maybe the top two weight classes. All right. Uh, what does your coaching staff look like for this year? I, uh, you know, we, we added some coaches, obviously Barry Bernstein, who's a retired, uh, teacher and head coach, uh, out in Wisconsin has been helping us. This will be his second year. Um, uh, have some, uh, former wrestlers. In my nephew, uh, Taylor Killian, who was a three-time state placer, and then uh, Dalton Reba, who was a state placer, coming in to help us. But uh, probably our biggest uh, addition this year is Preston Pavich, um, who wrestled for the University of Wyoming. And uh, he wrestled in, I think, Spearfish, South Dakota, um, in high, as high school, and then was a Wyoming Cowboy. So. Okay. So... That should be able to uh, help out your your wrestlers in when you divide them up, going to JVs and varsity tournaments, uh, having a, a good staff with both groups of kids. Definitely, definitely, yeah. I got uh, my other nephew that'll be heading up. I forgot to mention him is uh, Cam O'Mara. He was a state uh, state runner up in Nebraska. He moved out here and he's coaching with me, and uh, so. We lost uh, Coach Slay Huber, who had uh, departed to take the girls program uh, over the unified girls program. So my nephew will step up and fill that role really well as our head JV coach. And again, like I said, great background, two-time state placer, and a runner-up his senior year. Okay. Now you mentioned the girls. Do you have any girls in your program that are going to be going to the unified district program? Yeah, yeah. I think there's three. Uh, from Fossil Ridge that's over there. I haven't talked to Coach Slay Huber on who they are. Obviously, they don't report to me, but uh, I did hear um, that we had three girls from Fossil Ridge wrestling. So let's discuss the girls program. How is that set up this year, um, being the second year of the um, um, program for the uh, uh, going into a state tournament type setup? You know, I, uh, you know, I'm, I'm excited for girls wrestling. I, I think that, uh, you know, them having to compete against boys, you know, obviously they've done really well. Not that they can't, uh, you know, compete, but for them to have their own division, I think we've seen numbers go up. Uh, and wh whatever reason that is, uh, you know, I, I'm happy for that. I haven't had a whole lot of, uh, conversation with, uh, Slay Huber or even Barrett Goyer. I know his, uh, uh, daughter wrestles and, and but uh, I, I honestly think it's going to be a great deal and I think it's just going to continue to grow. Do you think it's better to have a unified district program or just have the girls at each high school? You know I like the unified I, I, to start until we get our numbers up you know it, it's just uh, I think that that kind of brings that team aspect to them and they get to feel more like a team where, you know, you got to have a bus and you have a coach and three girls is what we would have, three or four girls from Fossil Ridge, you know, going to the tournament. Um, I think uh, at, eventually I would love to have our own team and have them wear Fossil Ridge gear. Uh, but until them numbers come up, I think the Unified is the way to go. Okay. Um, understanding that you do not teach here at the school uh, and have your own business, uh, how do you find that uh, getting kids out for the program? You know, I, I guess the benefit for me uh, owning my own business is 
that I'm, I'm, I'm like an on-campus coach. I'm here a lot during the season. So I'm able to, uh, you know, walk the hallways and talk to the kids and, and find out what, which ones were on, uh, junior high and which ones uh, I should be looking at to get them out for the program. Um, but there is a challenge, you know, not having them in class every day and, and talking to them, um, being an off-campus coach. But I think there's some benefits too. You know, I'm, I'm not uh, in their face all day. Therefore, it's a new energy and a new face when they come into practice. So I think it has its uh, pros and cons. Okay. What are your season goals? Uh you know, obviously, as far as team, you know, you want you want to win everything. Uh, I, I'm a little different uh, coach. You know, obviously, winning. You know, that's that's what we're all here to do, especially in the uh, sport of wrestling. Uh, it's very competitive, one on one. But uh, I don't put a whole lot of you know emphasis on duels and you know tournament results. We we just try and take it week by week and try and get better. You know, we got uh, conference regionals and state you know the boys want to be you know conference champions all conference and then obviously qualify for state and give yourself a shot to be a state champion and and in wrestling when i was coming through at every level you know that's what it is it's it's each step and each duel and each tournament's a practice uh but yeah we we definitely would love to be a state championship team that's what you want every year and the reason for that is that means a lot of boys have accomplished their goals uh to be state champions and runner-ups and third and fourths uh in order to get there but uh i guess is our, our team goal now is just peak at the right time and uh hopefully qualify as many as we can for state okay well i'll um uh, seeing i took you out of your practice so i'll let you get back to your practice uh thank you for your time coach killian this is Tom Blair with Inside Colorado Wrestling.